Absorb 3 was uh, a randomized trial of Absorb BVS versus Science. Two to one ratio, 2008 total patients enrolled. The principal study endpoint was target lesion failure at one year by non-inferiority. The Absorb device was associated with a 1.7% absolute increase in risk, but it met non-inferiority because of the, it fell within the non-inferiority boundaries. Well, I presented the two-year outcome of Absorb 3, which has um, become a little bit controversial. There is a statistically significant difference in target lesion failure at two years, 10.9 uh, versus 7.8% with a p-value of 0.03. There is a slight incremental increase in risk with Absorb compared to Zions between one year and two years, but it's a lot less than was reported with Absorb 2 and Absorb Japan. I think we we're learning how to use this device, um, and unfortunately we didn't know as much as we thought we did at the beginning. So lesson one from the first year was don't put it in small vessels. I think lesson two is small vessels don't matter so much between one year and two years, but technique appears to. So in the modest number of patients that got what we consider appropriate technique, that is to say post-dilatation at a high pressure with a balloon to scaffold ratio of at least 1.1 to 1, the rates were very, very, very similar. Now, there weren't that many patients, but it appears that results using that technique are very, very similar to what you'd expect with Zions.